Zaniacs. I'm Lainey. I'm Marshall. Today we are going to talk about What I Know by Miranda Smith. This book was previously called Good Girl, um, just in case you can't find it anywhere under this name. What I Know, when I originally got it, it was called Good Girl and it confused the crap out of me because I was supposed to review it. <laughs> That's what I didn't know. Anyway, What I Know. The main character is a school teacher. She uh, it has a lot of trauma in her life because her brother was a pathological, psychological, sociopathic serial killer. Uh, tortured her her entire childhood and then uh, was convicted for killing I don't remember how many girls when he went to college. And the whole thing about her is that she would tell people this is what my brother did or what I suspect him of. He's doing things that are not quite kosher and this was before he like killed anybody. But apparently he tried to kind of kill her and no one would believe her until it happened and they were like, oh yeah, you're right. Um, so she's a school teacher, okay? So she has a girl that is transferred into her class who is kind of suspect in the same way that her brother was suspect. There are things she does that just raise red flags. So she starts trying to talk to her guidance counselor, the principal, and another teacher and tell them that this is what she suspects about this girl. And everyone is like, I don't know what you're talking about. She's a joy. I love having her in my class or I love having her around. And, she, and, this, and this teacher starts to go crazy because she's like, no, I, I, this is what I, this is what I'm thinking. And I, and I'm pretty sure this is right because I have lived it before. It's a conspiracy. Is it? Of course she's crazy. <laughs> there is also the possibility. Hey, you, you get me going on one of these plots. I, I go right. <laughs> so it could be that the teacher is actually the pathological liar. And the brother was the one that was totally innocent the entire time. Okay, I'm really sorry. This book... This book had such a great premise, but the entire time you basically just sit there and go, she's right, right? Interspersed in the present day of her dealings with this girl is the story of what her brother does. So you never totally know, and I'm not even telling you, everything that he does until you get towards the end of the book. But to me, the present day story was just not compelling. Following that same logic, either she knows and she's right that this girl is trouble, or she's wrong and the girl is not trouble, in which case why? <laughs> yeah. You know, that, that's where I dealt with most of this book. And as such, I gave it three stars because I could not, I could not get on board with the present storyline. It was almost like it could have been a short story, it could have been done with, very fast. The story of what happens to her in the past though is actually very compelling and I kind of wanted just to skip through all the other parts just so that I could get to the end of this one. It's like the, the grapes of wrath. You just want to skip all the stuff with the, 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 the asides with the animals. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's like, pretty much how I felt. That's why I gave it three stars because half the book was great and the other half of the book was just like, uh, okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, and I felt like though I could, I knew how this was going to end. I knew, like, I felt like I could see where it was going as I was reading it. I was pretty much right. Uh, so yes, if you like thrillers and don't really care about, you know, following a like super twisty, hit you with a brick that, you know, don't see coming, whatever, not for you. But if you, you know, if you don't if you don't mind that kind of thing, this is for you. So thank you so much for watching and until next time. Stay zany. Bye bye.